Welcome to the official personality guru. ISTP is one of 16 personality types. While some estimates suggest ISTPs comprise only 5% of the general population, my research and experience suggest this type to be more common, perhaps even as high as 8%. Male ISTPs are thought to outnumber ISTP females at a clip of 3 to 1. Like the INTP, the ISTP subject function is introverted thinking or TI, which can be associated with high levels of focus, self-discipline, intentionality, independence, and intensity of thought. ISTPs take life rather seriously and use their inner logic to discern the best ways of navigating it. They may, for instance, Use TI to work out their methods for maximizing performance in a particular sport. They love using their TI to solve practical problems or to optimize functioning. Because of their independence, self-directedness, and competitiveness, ISTPs may excel at nearly anything they set their mind to. Today, let's talk about ISTP's primary function and understanding ISTP's introverted thinking or TI. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to the official personality guru and ring the bell icon to get a regular updates on our latest uploads. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. Introverted thinking, or TI, serves as the dominant function for both the INTP and ISTP personality types, as well as the auxiliary function for ENTPs and ESTPs. Thus, to fully understand TP types, it is important to grasp the essential nature of this function. When working to understand TI, it can be helpful to compare and contrast it with its thinking counterpart, extroverted thinking or TE. TE orients its reasoning to collective standards and procedures as well as empirical and quantitative data. Whenever possible, its data is collected under tightly controlled circumstances. Example, controlled experiments to precisely measure the effects of manipulating a single variable. Science is a quintessential embodiment of TE as evidenced by its heavy reliance on formal experimentation, measurement, quantification, and standardized methods, the working of DI are more informal, holistic, qualitative, and impromptu. Later, Thompson has suggested that DI predominates in tasks requiring situational logic, such as aligning and hammering a nail, and determining where and how to strike a nail. TI uses a technique colloquially known as eyeballing. That is, it quickly and informally appraises the situation, like the size of the hammer, length of the nail, the thickness of the board, and etc., making adjustments as necessary with each successive strike. As an introverted function, TI relies on its inner logic and manufactures its way of doing things. In many respects, this makes TI a more portable and versatile function. Instead of referencing external protocols and doing things by the hook or TE, TI is confident in its ability to spontaneously and independently figure things out. Characteristically clever and innovative, TI can engineer hacks or workarounds in nearly any situation. While TI is useful for navigating the concrete world and solving practical challenges, it can also be applied conceptually and theoretically, especially when coupled with extroverted intuition or NE. As seen in INTPs and ENTPs, it is largely TI that compels NTPs to understand the essence of things, including their essential self, purpose, and philosophy. While all the judging functions like TI, FI, TE, and FE work to establish firm beliefs, methods, or values because TI is both an introverted and a thinking function. It is particularly concerned with those that are essential or foundational. TE, by contrast, is more fact-oriented and therefore more comfortable with pluralities, as opposed to singularities or essences. In this sense, TI is more reductive than TE. It attempts to strip away particulars and boil down pluralities so that only what are essential or foundational remains. In mathematical parlance, TI seeks the lowest common denominator. While TI can be seen as acting reductively in its quest for foundational knowledge, it is more holistic in its approach than TE is. TE strives to reduce or eliminate the subjective contributions of the investigator to allow the facts to speak for themselves. Such an approach is characteristic of what we know about the left side of the brain, which is why TE is considered a left brain function. Understanding the primary function of each personality type certainly helps give a better idea of how they respond to and take in information. Their dominant function is going to be what stands out the most and is represented by the world around them. 
While the dominant function works in combination with your other functions, it is still the one that helps people signify your personality and is often what is presented outwardly. It is the lead function in making decisions and in helping to form a strong sense of self. While understanding all of the functions and how they work together is truly important, knowing someone's primary function is certainly the first step to knowing them a bit better. ISCPs are very precise people who favor logic over emotions or inner feelings. While they are logical, they also have a more adventurous and curious part of them. They enjoy being able to experience things to learn from there. While sometimes prefer to analyze without actually diving in, this is why understanding the functions of the ISCP is so important, as they are more complex than just their dominant function. Since their primary function is an introverted one, they can be hidden from people at first glance. Their dominant TI is certainly an important part of how the ISTP takes in information and understands, but it is also important to take the time to look deeper into the other functions which assist this introverted thinking process. How TI Works Introverted thinking or TI is used as an internal framework that helps the user navigate the world around them. These complex systems inside of their minds are how the TI users sees and understands the world. It helps them to make decisions and come to logical conclusions about what they see and experience. We are constantly modifying this when new information is uncovered, willing to absorb new facts and details and adjust how they view things because of it. They're constantly weighing new information against their already existing model, wanting to be sure that everything works and makes logical sense. If the information doesn't seem to fit into this internal system, the TI user will reconsider how they are processing things to uncover where the inaccuracies are. This helps them to become amazing problem solvers, always prepared to look at the details and uncover ways of ensuring that they can fix whatever is going wrong. They're not afraid of approaching a new situation where others might need to look at things that have been done before to find solutions. Instead, the TI user doesn't need proven methods, since they operate based on this internal thinking system rather than something external. Since their knowledge is not based on what others have accomplished to figure out answers, the TI user can problem solve using their inner minds and understanding of the information in front of them. This TI is amazing at uncovering problems and finding solutions that will be more efficient and work in a long-term manner. They're always searching for ways to improve processes, wanting to uncover the most precise and accurate means of solving the problems they find. This TI is constantly searching for better means of understanding the world and how things work, as well as finding the best ways to navigate the world with strategies and solutions. As an ISCP, what are your primary functions? Be sure to watch until the end and share your experience for a chance to have your comment pinned. TI in ISTPs For the ISTP, their introverted thinking drives them to understand the world around them and the information they absorb. They are constantly searching for ways to better comprehend something, wanting to take things apart to see how they truly work. Their minds can recognize certain details and facts, creating this inner framework for how things operate and function. They often want to see how something works at a much deeper level so that they can gain a more accurate understanding of it. ISCPs are constantly adjusting how they see things as they take in new information and decide which is most accurate. This CI is rarely what people see at first glance, but it is the dominant function of the ISCP in how they understand the world around them. They want everything they uncover and see around them to fit into this logical structure that lives inside their minds. As they take in this information, they work to see how everything fits together, hoping to gain a true understanding of the facts. Their minds are always running and constantly analyzing what they see, even if people don't always notice this about them. They don't care about rules or proven methods. Instead, they want to question everything so that they can learn what truly fits into their minds and framework of understanding. Before we continue, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the official personality guru for more amazing videos. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to stay updated with our content. ISCP functions. While the ISCP's dominant function is their TI, people will likely recognize their secondary function initially. Their auxiliary or second function is the ISCP extroverted sensing or SE. This focuses on the physical world around them, making the ISCP appear very in touch with the physical and being in the present moment. Combined with their introverted thinking, this is often what drives ISCP to understand things at a physical level. Wanting to take things apart and put them back together again, it makes them much more visual people. Wanting to see how things work and move within a structure, this is what causes the ISTP to seem more laid back on the outside. 
living in the present and not obsessing over the past or the future. Their SE also helps the ICP to be more capable of taking action, not simply allowing their inner thoughts to keep them stagnant. They want to act on their desires from time to time, even if they do take time to analyze the information before jumping in. This SE causes the ICP to be more drawn to tangible things, which they can see and experience at the moment. They want things to have real-life connections and value, or else they can become disinterested in understanding them better.